Hello, I'm Spider GP, and uh, I wanted to take a closer look at the Splatana. It, it, it seems like it's going to be a good weapon, um, from what I see. Uh, it has a one shot when you charge it, and then it also has a long, it has good long range options, so it can outrange some mid lines and um, short range weapons. Maybe, maybe not the Splatter Shot Pro, but um, decent enough so it can actually move around when uh, it's in like a charger sight line. I also think um, the sub and special that um, Nintendo gave with the original Splatana wiper is going to be good because um, it can be like the, uh, like the Crapid where it can combo from the torpedo and lower the amount of hits that it needs. Maybe it could be like a 50% uh, charge attack with the torpedo and then add a kill or um, it could be like two slices instead of three but also they can use the um, torpedo as a distraction so then they can get in close or they can end up charging the um, charge slash and the hammer gives it a longer range option than what it already has to take down snipers and other weapons that might be able to uh, hold it back like the hydra heavy splatling and jet sculpture overall I think the kit is good um what could hold it back is um it's, it's, it's uh, damage. If they change the damage from it being, I think it's 35, maybe 30. Um, if they nerf its damage, it's gonna take longer for it to kill, meaning that it might not have the amount of combat potential as it could have, but it will still be good. Um, and it also seems that it has um, good paint. Well, at least decent paint. Some people might not agree with me about that, but it has uh, somewhat good paint. Maybe Maybe like a vertical flick of carbon roller that much paint maybe a little bit less but um i think it's decent enough that if you use the charge slash you can actually end up painting and maybe you could um trick the enemy team into thinking that you're going in that direction since you used uh the charge slash and that it sends out a projectile forward they might think that you're swimming there so you could always go into a different direction also i think the way that it might be able to fight against other other weapons would be maybe sneaking like sharking or um going behind them it'd be a very stealthy weapon not um a guns down weapon like that because it still needs to hit all few shots and then also if you get caught off guard you can always swim like you could swim away and afterwards um tap the button to send out the projectile that you just have to land three on and they're pretty they're decently big so if somebody moves a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right they're not going to end up dodging a lot they're just going to end up um still getting hit by the end of it depending if the end has a hitbox um gear abilities that you could put on it maybe like maybe opening gambit or some running ability depending if um it doesn't nerf it like with like with dualies um the dodge roll how it doesn't um how the dodge roll doesn't like no matter how much run speed you have it just doesn't um stack on to the uh onto the roll speed but maybe it'll have maybe not for the charge attack but maybe for like the individual slices you can move faster like that um, but I think some good abilities that you could put on it, maybe if comeback's still in the game, you could put comeback on, or, um, uh, well, I know quick respawn's still in the game, maybe, like, one main, two subs, a quick respawn, depending on how good quick respawn in, is in this game. Overall, I think it could be a great weapon if it's handled correctly with balancing. If it's too weak at launch, people will give up on it. But then if it's too strong later on in the game due, due to balance updates, um, it'll be very unbalanced and then people will end up picking the weapon, but they'll end but then long term the um weapons um name will basically get um trashed on and be called the low skill floor weapon like the um like the luna blaster in splatoon 1 and uh the clash blaster in splatoon 2 i think maybe if they handle this correctly because with the other one that we saw the um chainsaw like um splatana 
it seems to have burst bomb with it which is very good um depending on how much damage it outputs maybe it's like a reskin or something like that but if it's still the same weapon i think it's supposed to be a heavier duty weapon but um it has longer um charge um no it has quicker charge time i think and also it travels longer um and it seems like you don't have to charge it as long so as long as you know what you're doing and the situation that you're in you should be able to combat uh your weapons weak with uh the platana's weaknesses so you will be able to get the kill or you'll be able to win the match like that um i also think um, the reason why Burst Bomb is a good weapon is that it gives it another tool for paint with the um, the chainsaw like uh, Spotana it gives it another tool for paint with Burst Bomb so and oh and also you can pressure people from a long distance so it's kind of like the torpedo in that instance just that it's not going to distract anybody but um the Burst Bomb is a good combo tool that it can use and uh, overall, I think that the Splatana weapon class can be good if it's handled right. So if it's not like how they handled the Splat, the, the Splat Brella class, uh, I'm at the Brella class in Splatoon 2, like with uh, the Tenabrella, um, the way that they handled it was kind of bad because they ended up making the um, opening of the Brella um, slower and then afterwards they ended up making um what is it like it they gave it a one shot kill but majority of the time no matter how like you have to be dead in somebody's face to kiss them to be able to get the one shot kill so i think overall the weapon will be good it's just how you make it and how you use it and uh that's it for the video bye